Hello, good morning. Um, in this video, um, since I, I spoke um, too much about uh, manipulation of the stock market, in this video I will try just to highlight this uh, thing. Okay, manipulation. So, one of the characteristics of stock market is manipulation, okay? Manipulation is something natural in the stock market. It's not, it's not something that it is out of the stock market, okay? So, I will show you um, uh, something about the stock market, okay? So, everybody, okay, let's say mutual friends, okay, uh, big traders, big institutions, and majority of the public. these people, they contribute to, to the manipulation of the stock market. All of these, anyone who enter to uh, buy or sell is manipulating the stock market. Okay, but the problem is the public has compared to these, the public they don't know what they are doing. Okay. You find some people are, they buy, they sell, most of the time they don't know what's going on in the stock market, okay? The mutual funds, the big traders, the big institutions, they have a plan what, you, what they are doing. And we can add hedge funds. They know what they are doing. That's why they make the market. What does it mean they make the market? It means, I will give you an example. Because I, I repeat a lot this kind of things. But, but some people, uh, they try to argue with me about these things that it is a fact in the stock market. But still, they, they don't have, um, in their mind, they don't think that all the stock market is like a casino. Okay? It's like a casino. Few win and all majority they lose. Okay? That's why, that's why, when you see the um, brokerage firms, when you see the big institutions, the other, they make money. Okay? But you see that 97% this is in general, of the traders and investors, they lose money. So why this 97% lose money? Why just only 3%? If you don't know this, these numbers in the stock market, please go and check the SEC. Okay? The gover.org. And you see the statistics. How, how much people are losing money, how much people... You know, I will give you an example. In each day, look at this. In each day, in one day, you find that most of the stock market either it goes down or up. Okay, so let let me let, let let's let's give the, uh, an example. For example, the Dow today, just an example, is the index is 14,000, just an example, okay? This is the index, this is the Dow Jones, okay? Now, this is today, just an example, today. Okay? What will happen tomorrow? 
So do you know what will happen? If you, you know the future, you become a billionaire. But since no one knows, now who knows? There are some big, those who control the market, they know what's going on. That's why they make money constantly, always, and they also are losing. Okay. You will see that, that the, for example, the Dow Jones, one day is up, the other day you don't know. Maybe it goes down, and then it goes up, it goes up, it goes down. Now, when, when from today, tomorrow it goes up, what will happen? Some who short, they lose money. Okay? The next day, some people who go long, they will lose money. Some of them they sell and some they stay. Okay? So, who makes the whole market in one direction? One direction. So, any trader is betting on 50-50%. This is trading. That's why people, they go to stock market, they trade because it's better than it's better uh, uh, than the gambling because they have 50-50. Anyone, I will give you an example. Anyone who, who, who has never heard about trading, anyone, even someone who has who has no education about stock market, about trading, about investing. He bet on the stock today. He bought 10,000, 50,000, 100,000. And this stock tomorrow go by one point or two or three or four, he will make money. Does this guy know about trading or about things? No. Okay? So I will, this is just to explain the nature of stock market. Now, these guys, the big guys, manipulate the stock market because they have more shares. Okay? They have more shares of the stock market. That's why they can move the stock market up and down as they like. Now, this information about manipulation about something, okay? The, the Wall Street, they will never speak about this manipulation because it's the heart of, it's the heart of, of, uh, of the stock market. Okay? So that's why they don't like rules. You know? In the, the government rules, I will tell you something. Like this uh, SEC.org, it means this um, institution that tries to put rules to limit, to limit this manipulation, okay? They put rules in order to, in general, to protect the public. Protect the public, what's happening? Protect the public. Because when, you're, when your money is gone, it is gone forever, okay? It's gone forever, no one will, you cannot sue the market. The stock market or the Wall Street, you can sue them, okay? Whatever market, whatever money they take from you, you will never get it. You give it to them, they take it. Now, I will give you an example of manipulation. Suppose, I just give you an example that you understand that these things... Take, for example, a mutual fund. The stock is 20 today, 20 dollars, just an example. Do you think that this mutual fund, if he, if he wants to begin to, to buy this stock, whatever company is, I'm not sp speaking about fundamentals or stock or analysis or, um, um, or uh, any, any kind of technical analysis, okay? Because we have only, most of the time, two things. Either you see the company, Okay? Fundamentals or technical.
physical analysis. Okay? So, do you think a mutual friend, when he wants to buy this stock with 20, they like, okay, the manager likes this company, and he say, okay, let me, let me buy this stock. Do you think the stock go down? Okay, this is a simple question I ask you. Do you think the stock will go down? It must go up because this mutual fund will buy a lot. These guys, these guys here, they will buy millions of shares. It's not one, 100 shares, 200, 1000, like, like, like normal, uh, like normal, like the public, the small, small, very small uh, traders who are just trading 100, 1000, 2000. These people, they, they buy millions of shares through the week, through the month. And then that's why you will begin to see, um, to see the stock is going up little by little. See, 21, 22, and then it goes to 21, and then it goes to 23, 24, and then you will see a trend. Now, this trend, that's why people, uh, I like, uh, I like the uh, technical analysis because uh, in the chart, the stock goes like this. They put resistance. Here we have support. Now, if the stock begins to go up like this, they will see that there is a, a trend. Now, who makes this trend? It's those guys, the big guys who are buying, 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 buying. Now, the public, because the public, they don't know what's going on. The company is the same. Okay? The company has not changed. Do you think the company changed in one day or two or three? Why, why the stock is going up, up and down, down, up, up and down? What, what's, what's, what's the thing? Is there any change in the, in, the, in the company? There is no change. That's why people, they get always confused. They say, why it is a good company and the stock is going down? Why it is a bad company? I, we don't see a uh, lot of fundamentals. And with little, with little, like, um, with little, like, uh, earnings, any company going from $1, it goes to $100. In, in one year. People, they don't know what's going on. Now, in technical analysis, what they say, the reason is not important. Okay? People are buying, you see it in the stock itself. Eh? They are buying. When they sell, they sell very quick. They don't sell in one year or two years. Okay? They will sell very quick. That's why, when you see a stock going like this, this is six months or one year, but in one day you see like this. You see a candlestick that it is very, very long and going down, which is red for a lightning up. And you see that stock loses a lot of, a lot of its, uh, of, uh, the percentage is too much. Now, why is that? Because these people, mutual friends, uh, hedge funds and the other, they just sell. When they see that the stock is going down, some people they short it because they see it's going down very fast. Those people, they are glued to their screens each minute. They work from 9.30 to 4 p.m., which, uh, which most of them they are day traders. And when they see any stock that goes down, they hit it, okay? They hit it in order to go more and more and more down. If the stock is, in one day, is going up, they buy, they buy too much, and all the people, they join. That's why you see, you see the thing going up. Okay. Now, so as I, as I explained, manipulation is something natural in stock market. It's not something, where, when they speak, when they say manipulation, People, they think that it is a bad thing. In stock market, it is not a bad thing. It's the nature of stock market. 
The, the stock market is based on manipulation. Okay? If you, you buy 100, uh, 100 shares of a stock, you buy, okay? You think that the stock go up, will go up in the future. You, you are a manipulator. But the problem is, because of you, you have little money, you have just little money, you can do nothing into the stock. Okay. Suppose, I will give you an example. If Warren Buffett, because I always give this example, but some people, they don't like it because they love this person. Now, we take an example. Warren Buffett is here, and you, you are here. This is just an example, okay? If Warren Buffett, the stock is $20, and the first day, he wants to buy it, okay? Now, do you think that stock goes up or goes down? Okay? This guy has millions of dollars, billions of dollars, and you, you have, you have little money. Now, if you, you buy this, you buy, if you, you buy alone, a few people buy, the stock will, will go nowhere, okay? It will go nowhere, because you, you don't have that much money to move the stock. Now, Warren Buffett, if he wants to move the stock, he can. This manipulation, it's not something that it is bad, it's just he wants to buy something. And by the force of power, this stock will go up. Now, when he buys, okay, when he buys, the people who are following the market, they see the stock, that the stock is going up, and they see like a support here, and they see that the stock is beginning to go up, and there is something going on. Okay, the problem, in a few days, a few weeks, what will happen to the company? Company, it happened nothing. That's why I always argue with these people who are like, they love certain kind of people and say, and they see a magic formula that they uh, select a stock and goes up. It, doesn't, it didn't. They have no magic thing. The only thing they have is how to buy and the stock goes up. Okay? Now, I will give you something. How, how can you sell something that doesn't belong to you? If you are outside, the, this is the stock market. And this is the real life. Real life stock market. Can you sell Something that it doesn't belong to you, you sell it, but it is not yours. Okay, sell something that you don't own. Okay, this thing that happened in the stock market, it did it, it will not happen in the real life. How can you go to someone's car and you sell it? It's not yours. But in the stock market, anyone, if you have an account, anyone can go and short stock. But the problem is, if you, you want to short to short a stock, for example, you think that the stock it will go down. Okay. A hedge fund who has millions or and billions of dollars and he wants to, to short the stock. Do you think he win over you? Yes. He just short it and the stock will will go down like like a like a rock, okay? So do you understand that this kind of manipulation, it happens only in the stock market. It, it didn't happen in real life. In real life, you cannot uh, sell the house of a person or his car or whatever his belongings. You can't. But in the stock market, you have a share. You have shares in the company. They sell your shares and return them back later when the stock goes down, when, when there is no value. Of the, of, the, of, the, of the shares. Okay? The value is down. Now, the government before, or uh, some officials, 
wants to stop the Wall Street from selling short. Okay? Selling short. They wanted to ban it. But do you think that this, the Wall Street or Wall Street guys, do you think they like this idea of banning short? No! They don't like it. Okay? Because it is natural there. The manipulation is natural. How, how a person knows that the, the company will have a loss in the future? He doesn't know. So why he, why he short the stock? Okay? No, those people, in order to understand that we have two kinds of people. People with money. People with little money. Okay? Big money, most of the time they win in the stock market. Little money, they are crushed. This little money, it means, in general we say the public. Who are the public? It means people who don't know what they are doing. They don't know public. Okay? So, I will give you an example of kind of manipulation in the whole stock market. Who feeds the stock market? Who feeds the stock market? It means who gives money to the stock market? And this stock market firms, institutions, brokerage firms, big traders, they, they always um, have a profit. And the public, they lose. Okay? So, who feeds them? It's the public. Always the public. The public, it means all the people, they don't know what they are doing. They just buy, buy. Okay, it goes down, they sell. Okay, they lose money. Who, 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 t who takes the money is the, is the big guys. Okay, now, I will, I will tell you a funny thing about, for example, mutual funds. Okay, mutual funds. They ask people to give them money, okay, to invest. Now, when you give them money, you give money before they invest it by, by buying stocks or, or other uh, stocks or uh, ETFs or wherever, what they do? They take fees. This is their profit. Now, the stock market, either the stock market goes up or down, they don't care. Now, what, what's the thing they care about is fees. Is that you, you give them money, they take fees. Do they make a profit? Yes. You, do you make a profit? It's unknown. It is unknown. You don't know that the stock market will go up in the future or down. I will give you an example. This is like a, like a mutual fence. That's why, that's why, when you see these firms that they make the mutual funds, the ETFs, these are institutions, companies in the stock market. Most of the time, they are Wall Street guys. It's, it's something very simple. Okay? I make a fund. I make a fund. Okay? I ask you, or ask hundreds of people, give me money. Now, you give me money. I will take percentage. One percent. Two, three, depends on the, on the, on the value. Now, when they take this, whenever you give them money, they take the, they take the percentage. It means, this fund company, the company that issued this fund company, or the institution, who are these people? Do you think these people are, are normal people like me, like, uh, like in, the, in the street, or the public? They are Wall Street guys, Wall Street guys. They are rich. Okay? And you make them richer. Because, now when they take these fees, these fees are for sure they make money. For sure. 
they make money. But for you as a, as a public, as a trader, as an investor, okay, you don't know what will happen in the future. In the contract, if you, if you read the, the, the company, the company fan, if you read the prospectus, what they say to you? There is a big risk. There is a big risk of losing money. This is what they say to you. Give me money. I take one or two or three percent first, and then they throw money on the stock market. If the stock market goes up, okay, you will make money, and I'm making money. Now, if the stock market goes down, you lose, I always make money because I take the fees. So I am not, it's all this thing that you see is what you call middleman. All this what you see in the stock market is middleman. The middleman, they make money through fees and commissions, and the public is paying for that. Okay? Now, because no one knows what will happen to the future, some people invest for the long run. Invest. For the long run, for decades. Now here, if you invest in decades, you should diversify. Because you don't know which company will go up, which company will go down. Okay? If, if the fundamentals are true, for example, if the company is good, then you think it goes up. You don't know in the future because there is competition. For example, I will give you, I will give you an example. Uh, Google and Facebook. Okay. Google, the majority of the business of ad, ad business, they control the majority of the money is going to, to Google. Now, this is before. Some other companies, they come to the business, like Facebook. Facebook right now, I think, I think right now it's like, it, it, the, the part of the market, it's, I think it's 6%. But before Facebook, a few years ago, a few years ago, it was... Zero percent. It means there is no competition, but Google has competition with Facebook. Now, Facebook is a new company, and it's growing. All companies go to it, and it's growing. So, this six percent, you don't know in the future if it goes to 50 percent or it goes again to one percent or zero. Okay? This is competition. Before, there is no competition, but now there is competition. Okay? So... You don't know this, this Google, which is right now 800, and this Facebook is, for example, $24 today. Maybe this is going down in the future and this is going up because the people, if they think that Facebook is growing too fast, they will take some of the money from Google and they put it in Facebook and the Facebook goes up and the other goes down. This is competition. So you don't know for real which will go up or maybe... Google will go to 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, and uh, Facebook will go to from 24, it goes to 12 or 1 or 2, or 2 dollars. Okay? So, as I told you here, in general, that manipulation is something, is something natural in the stock market. It is not something that people, they think when they say manipulation, they think it's a bad idea. It is bad outside when we think about it. That's why, that's why, um, uh, if you search for manipulation, you don't find, you don't find a lot about manipulation. Why? Because it's a secret. No one, no one, no one in the, in the, in the except when, when the government see a scam or see a real thing and they do investigation. Okay? When they do, they do, uh, they give investigation. Maybe they find something if they do, but generally they don't do because the government is taking taxes from the money. So they, you know, they, it's a free money from the, it's a free money from the, from, from, from the, from the public. So why they don't take it? Okay, this is a general thing. I hope I don't 
take too long about this uh, manipulation subject. I uh, hope you understand. If you have some questions uh, about manipulation, please ask. Thank you very much.